so guys very very quick because um we're gonna go uh, i can't stay longer anymore and it's really really boiling hot in my area so this is my hospital bag it's a suitcase a luggage suitcase and so first and foremost the one is in here so i bring extra folder in case they were gonna give me something paperwork or something we need this because we don't want to squash it in our bag or something and also the paperwork that they've done that they need us to bring in there when we come so again i'm 39 weeks today and my c-section scheduled on the march 26 is coming tuesday and today is saturday so i'm pretty load heavy well if you ask me what i'm feeling right now i'm feeling good i don't know why it's um 10 30 in the morning and then i have a feeling in here during the evening it's like a thunder that is really really painful so i, I tried to request to have um early schedule and this is the continuation i'm gonna teach it while i'm um gathering the because I, I the previous um vlog with um the update of my 38 weeks something you can see that in the previous vlog I told you that I asked to the last uh, pre prenatal with the midwife and the consultant. They cannot give me any more dates that I have because they're officially given 39 weeks only scheduled and weekend. They don't have operation weekend, so only the Monday onward, which is the best um, date for me is 26 because the 25th on that time is fully booked already. I think Conquest will, <coughs> pardon me. They are um going to operate three sex three sex three C section per day and not week in as well. So the first bag we grab is um my electronic bag, which is important. My other phone has been charging, so it should be here. Power bank for the first time that you don't know what where you were yet. And obviously a long charger for the phone so if in case you are too far away from the plug and obviously for entertainment my headphone i will never forget that my phone is unlimited anyway so i don't have any problem of um connection so sky is there name it everything netflix so i hope they could entertain me so uh, I'm my slight makeup thing. Well, my mac uh, set emergency mac thing. Yeah, like powder and pow pow for my lips if it's so dry. So this for mascara and eyeliner of course and my lipstick. It's from Fenty. So that's just that. No extra, extra, extra loads or not necessary. Because we only stayed only possibly two nights. That's the I I hope. Oh my, my I'm I need to change position, guys. Okay. Who oops my leg, sorry. Mm. Right, so as you know that I mentioned that I have a high blood pressure, so I'm taking amodopin once a day. So amodopin is in here, it's a must. I don't know how to say I'm Lord Dupin 10 mg. This is my medicine kit, by the way. And I'm this is prescribed two pups two twice a day. And this one is always in my coat. So when I'm out of breath, because I have asthma and the folic acid. I'm not sure if I still gonna continue after giving birth. And this is the time, the one that I told you in my um, hospital bag, baby's hospital bag, my secret. I haven't had this before. This is a breastfeeding um, vitamin. So I'm going to take this the day before, on the day that I give birth. And just in case, Gavison, which is Gavison, when I'm not, I'm not using anyway. And then some paracetamol and ibuprofen is, it. I think it's a must after you give birth. Because you, you need to. So that's it guys, that's my medicine medicine kit. It's um necessary for me. And if you have if you need some you have to pack it back before you're gonna go there. So at least we've done something. So in case you're not gonna shower, you're gonna shower. I bring um this is my summer swimming pool stuff thing, or if you're gonna go to spa or something, this is my immediate thing. Which has had shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, 
face moisturizer and body oil and obviously if you don't need to shower there because i might not gonna be comfy so i bring um a dry shampoo so i don't know if it's a must for anybody it's not everybody are different so that's just in my thought and guys i'm not maybe ready to get out my jewelry going there or i may gonna keep it after so i bring my my case to my phone uh, case to my um watch and this is uh for my bracelet or my necklace and earrings jewelry um box small one portable so in case you need lotion don't forget your moisturizing while it's out maybe i cut this first and obviously um a feminine um spray and this bag is contained uh with all the like my uh, my my belly lotion um not a big face moisturizer and a makeup remover and another lotion in case and all the essential oil that we need that is really necessary for comfort like this is unbelievably very very um the smell is really really nice uh to ati elaine thank you for giving me this last time i have on my holiday and shout out to ati sabet as well tinday this is really really cool i like this and obviously i have um cream for my hand because they're, they're doing good now but i have um still a little bit so this is to protect me and this has with um i think steroid in it but this is not oral obviously it's just a cream so that's all my um instant um liquid stuff that we need and the cotton buds is somewhere um because i'm gonna pack the cotton balls anyway even i got a uh, a water for the baby which is i pack in here this is the water because um the baby is so sensitive they don't need to use um with sense um whatever but hospital has this as well so this is just to stay in yours when the baby's around the baby around stays in the nursery it won't stay in yours all the time and the lady there and the nurses and the thing they will assist you nicely as i remember like before and obviously i'm gonna have my own as well when i go to the toilet and <clears throat> this one i discussed this in a previous vlog this is the first time I'm going to use, so I hope it is effective. It's a nipple shell to catch us a milk, so you're not going to waste. So, I still bought some of uh, my um, um, breast pad, which is, I'm still going to find to, uh, I'll put it in here, the baby's cotton buds and cotton balls. I want to find uh, more, um, something like punch, 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 pouch like this. So I'm not going to forget that because I have on the list. But yep, I still have room, plenty of room of my suitcase. So this is it, guys. Um, yeah, I hope it's good. Well, I'm going to make a review for this. So I'm keeping the box. And also for your camera. This was not charged yet, but I put it in here. So I'm not going to forget. This is an instant. So if you have some visitor, you take two photos. One for you and one for them for an instant record. Obviously, we can always use our phone. And this, I bought this in Primark. I don't know why. Because maybe it's so difficult for us to, you know, if I'm lying down or uh, inclined, I need um, a drink with a zippy thing. So we don't need to buy extra expensive. So I just got this very quickly. So, But I will gonna bring my official water bottle. I'm just gonna refill in here because that one will keep uh 24 hours in the ice mega shout out to carl and maddie glenn the one who gave that to me and now the clothes that we are going to wear so i have two sets of these this one it's um i know it when you have stitch you should say people said avoid leggings but it's comfy for me last time so because this is what the one i bring so i'm gonna bring it again the same, so it's like um, the leggings. And then for easy access, I had, um, you know, with uh, Bridget Jones. Don't forget your Bridget Jones. And then, yeah, the pads as well. I'm going to put that in one pouch with the uh, cotton pads and everything. 
So that's in my mind. And this one is the most important. I got this in, uh, I think it's in H&M. But bef before when my first pregnancy, I got some from H&M and I got some from a uh, new look. And I think I still have the old one in there. I'm still using it. So it's so easy. You just pull that out and then here we go. You can breastfeed. And that's why I bring extra muslin to, to cover up for privacy if there's some people around. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so I packed this one for going home or either staying there for second day. Which one is the first one I'm going to pick? Because the second one is the same. Pretty much the same. So, it's a leggings from H&M. That one is from Adidas. This one is from H&M. And the same. Bridget Jones. And my nursery um top so you can again remove easy access they keep stay still so obviously they pro provide you a hospital gown i'm not gonna say that i hate it but i don't like it so i might gonna use that for the operation to make them happy but i'm going to change right after and yet again i'm not sure if my milk will gonna come out but um i prepared two things in here it's like um a shirt. Kung sa Pilipinas ni polo shirt dress. Yeah, so it's easy access for your but I know that I remember last time that I have my katitia I think until even the second day. So I don't know how they were gonna do but I, I can get up anyway so I can give them a hand but because I don't like to use the the hospital gown because for some reason you know there's a lot of memories on that clothes i don't know the previous people who wear them or i don't know they're not new so again it's easy access this one and it's a little bit comfortable but <clears throat> this one that i found they're both from primark they're they're handy i tried to go to next and net egg and H&M but they don't have this one is more comfy year than that one because this is stretchy stretch so the same thing is button on the front and it's very comfy and I think I'm gonna let them off I'm gonna use the knickers in there knickers guys knickers in the hospital because to avoid a mess as well so yeah so for the first day after the, the the operation maybe in the afternoon i will change from the hospital gown to this and then for the second day and then i have two extra for going home outfit and obviously and some extra knickers here so that's just that guys uh, that's how i pack my um hospital bag so the one is missing here obviously is the cotton the pads and the extra 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 um nappies for the baby so i hope you do all well i'm not gonna stay so long because we need to go and it's really boiling hot i don't know why i picked these clothes because it's comfy i can get an up that you're not gonna see in my private so <clears throat> pardon me again <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're still gonna continue. I think the next vlog, vlog is in when we're going to the hospital. So I'm gonna update you what it feels like and what's the CS um, moment now here in the UK. So for my family and friends, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. So I'm, we are so looking forward to this and it's gonna be excited and... Uh, different from past six years so thank you so much for watching again god bless you and see you in my next vlog ciao